Hello everyone, welcome to Jobs Click Share, and this is going to be our fifth video continuing our process of learning about IT job readiness, the career goals, and the things that you should know before you start making your resume, applying to this job, and even on the job. So today we're going to talk about not some typical skills that we did in our last session. We're going to talk about in-demand skills. Okay, in demand skill sets for IT hub dash technicians include many skills, but some skills are important for interviews, stress management, and career development. So, what am I talking about? Let me just open this one image right here. Sorry about the text, this got messed up. But usually, when you go to the descriptions, and this is one of the common requests or some type of issue with a lot of people when they're new when they apply for jobs or they get out of their A plus certifications or degree certifications, they see these descriptions and for them, it's totally different than what they have learned. Uh, for a lot of people that come to us with A plus, Network plus, even CCNA, because somebody told them that if you do this certification, you may land a job. And when they go for the descriptions and try to apply for these positions, they get confused. So basically we will look into some of the most common in-demand skills that people will just look at it somehow you're going to present that on your resume i'll show you that in a second and then people are going to be like wow okay this person knows about ticketing and let's move on to the second one so you can see uh you know basically right here we're going to click on submit i'm just not going to do this quiz and postpone this so the second one is uh, active directory user management so if you click on this you can see again active directory is right there on the top and active directory is going to be in most of the responsibilities now that doesn't mean that every single description is going to put this the reason we say that this is an in-demand skill because every person in IT most likely 95% of the IT professionals are definitely going to know about uh, Active Directory. I'm not sure the 5% if they're working in something extremely different and they don't know about it is one thing. They, they have not touched it is one thing because people may be using different than Active Directory but not knowing is another thing. So I really don't know what those 5% uh, is going to be but I'm just guessing that it's going to be a huge number that are going to know about Active Directory. So the, the main point that I'm making in this is that knowing about Active Directory and putting this on your resume makes a huge difference. And that's just one example. So that's, let me show you another one that could be also considered to be a very uh, you know good skill to have. And that's Office 365 management. We are moving towards cloud very quickly. And this is one of the cloud type applications that Microsoft came a few years ago. And a lot of people start ditching Exchange servers because it's not easy to manage Exchange. There needs to be a professional who knows what they're doing from the server end. And it's a lot of money somebody has to really pay. So Microsoft came out with their solutions, their cloud-based solutions. And almost every university today right now or colleges, they're moving towards this type of solutions. And Office 365 is one of the top ones. Uh, you know, school education systems, on so many places, even work, businesses, nonprofits. So the thing about this is that when you put Office 365, it's not just to impress NIT people. It's impressing that HR people too because they use Office 365. They use Active Directory to send requests. They use ticketing systems to create uh, you know, issues for people. So definitely this is where what we are talking about right here. You're just connecting with the people right now. Now, some other in-demand skills are like imaging, software deployment, and inventory systems. Now, a lot of people may look at imaging or software deployment, they may think, oh, that's just like a sysadmin job. But like I said, you know, you have to be doing a little bit more than a person who knows just A plus stuff. And that is why I say that when people do these kind of things, people will let go of experience. Other than that, they're not going to be, it's going to be like a 50-50 chance then. So these things are not hard. You do need to invest some time to learn it. And you do not need to master anything in the beginning, even at the later stages. Nobody's a master. We don't know anything. Most of us have 13 plus of years of experience and we're still learning every new thing every day so there is no mastery in IT um, basically that's 
it's just how it works. So if you look at it, most of the descriptions are going to put just for IT support, they're going to put imaging, help desk analysts, they're going to put imaging. So even though for people, may they, they, may, they may think this may be a level two, level three stuff, but it's actually not. It's actually a very common skill when you start working in this career. Uh, moving on, this is just uh, to show you, moving on virtualizations. Now, you do need to know about this kind of stuff. The reason for this is that again it comes back to the stress level like if you're gonna have to work on a system and if somebody say we're having an issue with that system can you RDP to that system and let's say that system shut down now uh, they're saying that can you restart the system now you're gonna be thinking okay I looked all around but I don't see the system the person says, hey no that's not a physical uh, you know system it's a virtual system so even that person saying virtual system do you understand what that is if you don't understand it of course it's just going to give you some hard time so this is just basic understanding of technology and by you working on labs and everything like that which I'm going to show you later on in this um, you know full playlist you need to know this stuff that's what basically the main purpose of this is that you need to know this stuff and of course the remote administration and troubleshooting skills at the end, what are we in right now? We are in a situation when everybody's working from home. Every single person, if you're going to go to the job, most likely they're going to be talking about remote tools. Do you know this tool? Do you know that tool? Do you know HCCM? Have you ever done RDP? What is RDP? So, and people are going to be calling you for these type of issues. I cannot RDP to my, my work machine. I cannot do this. I am having issues with my Zoom. Can you help me connect with somebody else on the Zoom? You see, these are all the things that you need to know currently because that's how we basically uh, are doing our work um, so at the end I'm going to show you this one resume of how this looks really cool when you know this stuff if you don't know this stuff you just can't put that on your resume so I'm just going to show you a sample resume where it will make more sense that okay when you learn all this stuff how what's my goal what's my end goal how do I actually what am I doing why am I learning this for so there got to be some practical thing that you're basically working this for in the beginning and that's your resume so that's the practical approach that I'm showing you uh, right now I'm going to show you that resume you see everything that you are doing for skills learning you really need to know how to put this on the resume because you're doing this targeted learning for a reason and that reason is right here in front of you when you have a clean resume like this people are going to be interested it's going to catch attention after when it catches attention from your objective it's going to be your core strengths and this is where you see that you're putting all of that stuff that i just show you help this ticketing system tier one troubleshooting active directory office 365 manage virtual machines customer service this is your uh, basically like a um, punchline right there as soon as somebody opened this resume they're going to get their attentions are going to be right there core strengths oh we use this we use Active Directory we use Office 365 we use ticketing system and then what happened is that because in the beginning it's more of the HR people and maybe some type of um, non-technical recruiter with a little bit technical background they, they forward this resume to more technical people then you want to catch the attention of the technical people it's a step-by-step -step approach you want to get them engaged and once they're so impressed with the first two areas technologies core strength and then the rest over here is more like okay now this is based on this person a lot of people when they want to hire somebody at the entry level they don't see this stuff in the beginning they just see a plus they just see a few lines the resumes are not good and that's why people are not getting calls back because another person is prepared another person have listened to us they have listened to either us or some someone else and they're giving the same information just a little bit different than this but they're almost the same thing so then their resume look like this and your resume look like a straight one line or cluttered of course you're not gonna get a call so you really need to be practical you need to be realistic the other people have something like this and this is what you're competing with so if you people are having or using this type of things of course you're not gonna have too many chances but here's the thing even though I'm talking to a lot of people you may think oh because maybe your video may get like you know a few thousand hits maybe in a year or two that's nothing we got millions of millions of billions of people actually and we got millions of people that are looking for IT uh, jobs so again your chances are like people 
against you, they're still not going to have a good resume. So you still have a really good chances because of this stuff. And like I said, again, the rest of the stuff is more of like depending on the person. If they want to see the experience, they're stuck on that. You can never, ever fix that issue. That is just personality and you, we just can't fix it. But most likely, if you're prepared from your side, you your chances are more and more and more and people are going to give you chances just like that. And then, of course, if you follow our education, we do give you certain things to defend this stuff. So, for example, if somebody asks you, OK, what about the sector director? You have actor directory management, but how did you learn it? Oh, yeah, I went to this platform. It's a career development platform and I actually did the full course. And there is a proof right there. There's a certification right in front of you. Now, it's up to you. Do you want to use the code to prove it? That's up to you. If you don't want to use the code to not prove it, just remove the code. I mean, these courses, I'm going to show you that you can actually do some of these courses for free. Almost everything that I've shown right here, these courses are for free. If you want to pay more, that's up to you. You want to pay for the labs, nobody's going to give you the labs for free. Nobody's going to give you servers and routers and stuff like that for free. It's up to you how, how easy you want to make your IT career how smartly you want to learn skills that's really up to you because like i said you can learn it on your own by doing in your own labs Take, taking that stress is your own option or you can follow some guidance and do it neat, neatly and cleanly and and fast it's really up to you i mean you may be able to do it yourself in the labs very fast that's really up to you how you learn but i'm just giving you suggestions that this is how people work this is how when people are successful and they know these tricks this is why they are they're comfortable applying to new jobs. So in the next video, I'm going to show you the good and bad resume again, because the resumes are very important. And we're going to make sure we do a whole session on resumes again, just so people understand that they can use this resume and they can utilize all this stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. Please do like, subscribe, and subscribe to our channel and visit our website, jobscashare.org.